my trade as a boiler maker welder. I work in many different areas uh, within engineering, uh, shipbuilding, working offshore construction and mining. So doing mechanical engineering seemed like a natural progression to me after being involved in it with hands-on. Yeah, my experience has been really good. Um, having the ability to fully study online while maintaining a full work schedule is uh, really helpful, so. Yeah, so this is probably the hardest part because I do work full time, uh, usually between 40 and 50 hours a week, and when we have shutdowns on, it'll be 74 to 80 hours a week. So it is quite hard and I manage by stuffing late at night, waking up early in the morning and just trying to find time when I can. Uh, so in uh, one of the units that I took part in, uh, I was introduced to a lecturer who had some very broad knowledge on mechanical design and I've actually engaged with him through a job to design and build a vessel to API 650 and uh, we're actually currently working on that now so yeah it's been really good. Yeah so one of my photos was process plant and piping layout and that was really really interesting because I've uh, done my time as a pipe fitter through my trade and also now I work in a major hazard facility uh, which has loads of pressure piping through and throughout, working on boilers and heat exchanges and you know, all, a variety of different vessels. So that one's probably been my most interesting. I suppose with now there being a push for renewable energy, there's a lot of uh, exciting construction projects coming up, lithium, uh, hydrogen, and it would be good to be a part of that, um, either in the construction phase or uh, in the production phase. Yeah, so the ability to study online is actually really great. I think it's yeah, one of the best I've come across. Uh, like I said, allowing um, myself to study while working full time, because these days, with a lot of big companies, if you want to become a superintendent, they always ask for a tertiary education. And if you do have full-time work commitments, uh, you don't have the ability to take time off work to, let's say, study in a classroom. So it's really good. Uh, yeah, there's actually two. So the first one is uh, Dharmat Thakur and uh, Dr. Melind. One of the ones I will be comp completing this uh, semester is the uh, design uh, and costing of a PV solar system for my um, BME 208S energy systems unit. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm about to start that shortly. I started doing three units per semester. And I've been able to maintain that. Uh, I think the only change will be at the start of next year, I'll do four units so that way I only have two units in my final semester, which is the final year project. Uh, I would advise that if you are starting to think about it, definitely act upon that thought because, um, you know, the, the sooner you start, the, the better. I wouldn't leave it till later because other factors of life come in and can make it harder to study, but if you're thinking about it now, I'd definitely take it on. Whether it's one unit or just two units, at least make that jump and then assess where you are in life and how much you can take on at that point.